Okay, today we're going to take a look at the bubble fighters that were produced for the Lost in Space movie by Trend Masters. Trend Masters produced two bubble fighters for this movie. Uh, there was a larger version that uh, the action figures can fit in, like this guy here, and then a smaller version uh, here uh, that uh, came with its own small little action figure that fitted in the bubble section at the front. Uh, in my opinion, the small version of the bubble fighter is actually the better one. The larger one, uh, because they had to accommodate the figure, uh, ended up looking a bit odd. But I will review both today and show you exactly what you get. Uh, the small bubble fighter looks very much like the uh, bubble fighter featured in the movie. It's a really good interpretation. Uh, the detailing is excellent, including the paint job that you get on it, as you can see here. Um, it's a very nice toy. It comes with a stand as well, which is quite good, because uh, if I take the stand away, uh, this is how the ship appears in the film. And as you can see, there's actually no way of standing it up nicely. So the stand is a very useful addition uh, and it features some uh, some sort of great uh, gimmicks. Uh, it comes with uh, two missiles. There's a missile on the bottom here, uh, which I can fire like so. And then uh, another missile on the top section here, which I'll also fire just so you can see that it fires. Uh, again, pretty standard for toys at that time. Uh, it also comes with uh, two sound effects and some lights. Uh, the light here and here will light up. Um, let me see if I can. You can see that uh, and it also speaks as well um, and then there is one final uh, gimmicky feature that, uh, that you see in the movie which is that you uh, press this button on the side and the bubble section uh, separates uh, this is a key part in the movie so uh, it's uh, quite a good thing to have um, this has got a nice sort of uh, feature that as you rotate the toy uh, the bubble rotates uh, and the pilot stays the upright um, uh, again this is something we've seen in other toys uh, I think the uh, B-Wing uh, from Star Wars did the same thing uh, but this goes in, in more directions uh, there's a small amount of battle damage as well on the top wing uh, you can ping off a section here and uh, it reveals a little bit of battle damage. Uh, this is actually pretty annoying because this bit keeps falling off uh, and uh, gets lost easily. Um, so overall though this is a, a very nice toy. I always thought the ship design for this was uh, particularly good uh, and this one looks very nice on display. The stand really means that you can uh, have it on a shelf and it looks very good. Um, I don't see these on, on eBay particularly often. Uh, they, they weren't particularly common even at the time. I picked this up uh, just in a sort of end of line shop uh, back in sort of the early 2000s. Um, but it's, um, if you see them, I would recommend getting this one over the big one. So let's take a look at the big version now. Okay, so here we have the big version of the Bubble Fighter. It's actually quite hard for me to get this on screen. As you can see, uh, again, it's a nice model. Uh, the paintwork and detailing is, is very good. But as you can see, the bubble section uh, is oversized to accommodate the figure. So it just looks a little on the stupid size. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame, really. Um, I guess uh, they could have made the ship bigger, but it would have been absolutely massive if you know to keep the bubble at the correct proportions um, so I think you just have to put up with that uh, this has the same feature as this one so the bubble rotates in that direction and then also it's weighted so that uh, it rotates as you turn the ship around uh, it does get a little bit caught on the, the bottom of uh, this uh, thing because it's actually quite heavy um, but it's still quite a nice feature uh, and you can open the bubble up like so uh, to get a, a, any of your action figures inside um, but obviously in the movie it's uh, Major Don West who appears in it so I have that figure here so let's put that cover back on um, it comes with the same sound effects as the smaller one um, but it's actually much louder if I show you now uh, I'll do it again and there should be one final one and again, uh, it comes with the similar sort of missiles. Uh, the one at the bottom fires. I'll just fire that out so you can see. Uh, and again, the uh, one at the top fires. Uh, and again, it comes with the sort of damage detail on the wing here. Again, this is even more annoying than the small one because it barely gets held on at all. So just keeps falling off. It's a, a little bit of an annoying uh, thing there. It's even quite hard to get to put back in. 
Uh, and this toy doesn't come with a stand, so I'm never really sure how to display it because uh, I've tried hanging it from the ceiling, which sort of looks all right, but it uh, just ends up in the way. It would have been great if they'd done the same thing as the small toy and uh, attached a stand so that you could hang it up. Um, even if you sort of sit it down, it just looks a bit a bit rubbish. Um, let me show you that just there. It just uh, looks a bit naff when it's sort of lying on its side. So it's a shame, it could have been a really good toy, uh, but uh, sort of let down by the, the limitations, I guess, of, of making it not too big, uh, but uh, big enough to fit the figure. Um, overall, I still prefer the small version. Uh, I think it just works so much nicer. Uh, the big ones, uh, I again, don't see particularly often on eBay. Uh, and you, if you find them loose, they'll generally have their missiles missing, uh, the two here, and also this uh, detachable panel here. So if you're given the choice of getting either of the two of these, I would err on getting this small one because it just looks so much better. Uh, the large one is nice to have uh, if you want to get a complete set, but it really does have some major flaws. Anyway, thanks for watching.